In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Signature Manager Exchange Edition in minutes. I'll start by downloading the software, I'll show you how to install it, then we'll go through the first use wizard. I'll also set up our sent items update service so you can see how an email looked with the signature on it in your sent items. And lastly, I'll test that feature in Outlook. Let's get started. First, I'm going to go to exclaimer.com and download Exclaimer Signature Manager Exchange Edition. All I have to do is enter my name, my details, and hit download. Okay. I'll click run because I don't need to save this file, but you can if you want to. I'll click yes, and then I'll click setup. I'll click Next. I'll accept the terms in the license agreement and click Next. I'll just confirm where I want to install Signature Manager Exchange Edition 2. Program files will do for me, but you can change that location if you wish. I'll click Next and Install, and a brief progress bar will show me that the software is installing. And when I click Finish, It'll launch the first use wizard, which is going to guide me through the first things I need to start adding signatures to my emails. So I'll click Next, Next again, and now I'll set the conditions which decide which emails will display my signature. I can decide based on who the sender is, based on Active Directory Group, domain, organization unit, or any number of AD attributes. And I can base those rules on the recipient too. Using those same AD attributes I mentioned, and even contents of the message, like in the subject, the body, message headers, and more. This will do for testing. I'm just going to add the signature to emails from myself to myself. So I'll click Next. And now I can choose a signature. This blank one won't do, so let's take a look at what the options are. Hmm. This one looks right. I'll click Next. And now I can click Edit, and I can make changes to the signature. I could select an image and delete it if I want. I could select an image and change it if I want. I could add in a hyperlink if required. And I can even personalize that hyperlink to, for example, add in a tracking parameter, like an email address, so I can see whose email that signature appeared on. Let's cancel. I can add in various contact detail fields, so those will be automatically completed for my different users. Now, I can save my changes to that, and I'll click Next, and Finish. The Setup Wizard is now complete. Now let's take a look in the Exclaimer Signature Manager Exchange Edition console. First, I can go in and I can change the name of that policy generated by that first use wizard. So if I want, I can just click Policies here and just maybe change the name. So we'll go with Official Signature Policy rather than Wizard. Now, anything that you've changed in the console will have an asterisk next to it until you click Save. Just to let you know that you've made changes there and they haven't been applied yet. Once those are gone, those changes have been applied. Now, we could get a little more specific about the conditions we want to use. For example, I could say that maybe I only want to add a signature if it's a specific user or if they're in a particular Active Directory group, like maybe sales.
On top of that, I might want to say I only want to add this particular signature if maybe someone is inside or outside the organization. So now what I can do is go to the policy tester here and try sending a message. This is going to show me how it will look without actually having to go to Outlook and send a message of my own before I click Save and make all these changes. I'll click Run Test and it'll show me a flowchart of the rules up in this policy. So, condition applies. The sender is one of the following users, demo admin, that's me. And yes, the message is going to a recipient outside the organization. So, it applies the signature. And this is what we get. Perfect. So at the very end, I get a complete message with all the content I need on there. Now let me close. And if I want, on top of that, I can set it to update a user's sent items to show them how an email looked after it was sent. So if I click Configure Sent Items Update Service, this is going to create an account that can log on as a service among other things. So first, we've suggested an account name, though you can change that if you want, and you just need to enter an appropriate password for it. create account if it does not exist and click next. I'll click next again. Click next and finish. Perfect. So when I click enable sent items update, that's it. Click save, click yes, and everything is set up with exclaimer signature manager exchange edition. If I go into Outlook, and I click new email and I click send when I go to my sent items you can see it's added the signature and I can see that in my sent items folder perfect thanks for watching